Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is uh, towards the morning. Uh, it's another beautiful morning. Uh, we really are getting a good spell of weather here now, and, and it is, it's uh, really a wanted. Grass is growing nicely, cattle are happy, everybody's happy. So this morning, we're just going round. We spent most of yesterday doing the same, um, gathering just with, with a bit of a, not a storm, but we have we had high winds back about two, three weeks ago and um, they weren't expected. I was over here doing a bit of work and my wife rang me and she told me to come home immediately that um, the wind was causing problems at home. So we went home and I found our trampoline had left our street and landed in the neighbor's uh, field. Uh, it had went maybe the guts of 50 yards and never seemed to touch the ground. It just bounced over a hedge and into a neighbor's field. So there was quite uh, strong gusts um, for a while that particular day but it also brought down a lot of branches heavy branches and bits of trees and things so you see this is the problem with the ivy again this is an ash tree and I cut the ivy as you can see on it here about two years ago it's starting to come back at the bottom again but um, what happens is I, I don't know whether it's caused by the ivy but I think it is you can see into the middle of this tree here and um, if you look closely in there you can see there's a hollow in the middle of that tree. And that hollow is, is full of water. And that tree is hollow in the middle. That tree's not going to last much longer. Whether that's caused by the ivy or not, I don't know. And I don't know why that's happening. But you can see there where there's branches all the time breaking off this tree. There's a branch broke there last year. Quite a big one fell into the field. And now this one fell. And it wasn't that big a wind to be taking the trees down. But we had a lot of branches come down. Now, as you can see, most of our hedges are cut and uh, we keep our hedges fairly low, but we don't touch any trees. We let as many trees as possible grow, not just for shelter for cattle, but it looks nice. And, you know, it's there's no point in cutting down um, every tree around the place. You know, leave a few trees up. It um, look at it helps with greenhouse. It, it, it helps with the environment, you know, the stuff. And, and it actually it, it, it looks better, you know. Um, but with the few trees that we have, uh, it brought down a lot of branches. It, the last field over here now, we spent a day and we cut about five or six of these power boxes, or this transfer box full of, of sticks and, and um, oh, they were great to have, but it just, I found it unusual at the time of year for so much stuff falling. So this is the last one we have to gather up here anyway. And uh, we gather up all the bushes then today because it's given the weather to break um, on Saturday. So we will said we'll, um, get everything cleaned up now. Calves will begin to this field now, um, tomorrow or the next day. And um, we're gonna pile all these bushes and get them ready for for burning when the time is right. Um, so yeah, that's the story. I have my smaller chainsaw over with me today. Um, it's nice and sharp and I find it handy for these this kind of job. Even that trunk there will not be a problem for it. Um, it's a 170. Um, I have this chainsaw about six years now, seven years. Um, and I have to say, I only originally bought it because for pruning, doing small jobs, because the big saw was hurting my back. And I do, like a lot of farmers, suffer with my back. So I bought this chainsaw just to keep, um, just to just to be able to do um, a few bits and pieces um, of like, like jobs like this here and cutting up a few sticks at home and that. Um, and I could use it for a longer period of time without hurting my back. And have to say, it was the best purchase I ever made. Um, I thought it'd be something to sit in the shed and it wouldn't be powerful enough and I'd still remain using the big 391 that I have. But no, this is the saw I use all the time. I have put this saw to the ringer. I have sawed that much stuff with it and it has never let me down. Saws have been the same. Now, I'm not promoting still by no means. Um, I am, I'm just saying it's something I've used. I know Husk and Varna are good saws as well. Homelet. Used to be another saw that we used to have. Um, Homelet was brilliant. Not sure what happened to them or did some other company take them over, but um, maybe you can comment below and just let us know. It'd be nice to know what happened to that company. Um, they made great saws, but there were, you know, that's 20 years ago since we had our last Homelet. And then, of course, we had McCullough saws before that, but um, yeah, this is by far my favourite saw I've ever owned. Um, and I highly recommend it. There's a special saw now in different places. Um, I I seen in my local place um, was an offer um, for a one 170 and a 180, and they were around 285 euro. 
Um, and believe it or not, there was a 171. And I don't know what the difference is, but the 171 was 320. So it was dearer than the 180, which is slightly has slightly more power. So I don't know what the idea that was. Um, but it had a special, there still has a special run on them two saws. Um, I just noticed them. But uh, yeah, this, this saw is as good as new to me. Yeah. We have most of the branch cut up. Um, we just a bit trunk of, the, of it left in the, in the hedge, and I'll get in it now and give it a pull, and hopefully it'll fall out nice and handy down here, and we get it all cut up because there's a lot of stuff on that trunk yet. But yeah, we're getting on. Um, Twenty minutes, and that's a nice sweet batch of sticks there now, and we'll get this all finished up, tidied up into the box, and home, and split, and in the house, and then we'll come back and gather the bushes. So, as I say, you can see there. The MS-170 is great for this type of stuff. It's as light as a feather and has piles of power. It's just on its limit there now with what we're cutting at the minute. I suppose that's the diameter of what? Um, how would that be? Five inches, in around five, five, yeah, in around five inches. And uh, but now it's nice soft ash. So it's one of the easiest things you can cut, but it's nice and sharp and um, yeah, it's, it's it's a great saw. It's a great saw for this, anyway. So, uh, yeah, we'll bounce on to the next part, get this root out, and um, we'll get the rest of it cut up and home. Now, we have, uh, over here with the trailer, put the trailer on the back of the tractor, so we're going to gather up. We've wee small bits of bushes here and there, but uh, small piles, but loads of them. So we gather them all up now, and um, we'll get them all collected and got rid of. Um, so that's the next task, so here we go. So we have our pile of, of bushes boring, uh, great day for boring. So I'm just going to try to reverse in this load here, I have a load of bushes here. Now the wind is closed so hopefully the smoke will not come into the cab. Uh, of course my heifers have to stand up again. The fire, definitely, that's all it's going to be. Then so we'll try to reverse this in and get it dumped into the fire as close as possible without boring on the trailer. Or boring the wheels of the trailer I should say. We'll just see where I'm going first, it would be great. Not too bad there. In here at a slight angle. Hopefully, we get that in there now. Draw cheese from in the fire now. That's it. That's what first load of bush is gone. We'll go and get another one now. That stuff's really dry, it'll be all born really well. So, it's the morning after the night before. And uh, 
with this stuff is well born. There's very little left. What we're going to do now is I'm going to pick up the last piece of branches that are still in the field and I'm going to come over now and get the tractor. I'm just in the quad here at the minute because I'm just out of feeding, looking around, looking at my cattle and feeding cows and things. Go home now, get the box, back in the tractor and push everything into a nice neat pile in the middle and hopefully most of what's left will born as well. 